In this video, I'm going to be forging a bison head. I'm using one inch square stock for material. The process is the same regardless of what size material you're using. First step in this process is to forge a pre-shape of a triangular. To do this, I'm going to be using a guillotine fuller with three quarter inch fullers top and bottom. I'm placing it at approximately a 45 degree angle midway up the piece. I want to bring it till it's got a fairly sharp point on the end. Be the termination of his beard. Now in order to gain mass for the horns and the ears, give the front of the face some radius. Going to upset. I'm encouraging flare on the sides and the top. I don't want that flare on the lower portion of the face. So using my rounding hammer, I'm going to bring back any flare we might have gotten. There you can see we've got an ample amount of swell, isolated mass for the horns and the ears. Now I'm using a half inch fuller to create a brow line and to work the lower portion of the face. I'm coming in right at the transition point. And I'm using a curved chisel to isolate the mass for the horns and the ears.
Now I'm using a approximately a 5 8 by 1 inch side set with a 10 degree pitch to it. I'm going to use this to push the material back for the horns and the ears. Ears are set behind the horn, so angle that tool back, push the ear material. And use this same tool to help define the brow line and the muzzle. Now we're going to finish defining the lower portion of the face. I'm going to start by pushing the beard back, using the side set to do this. out a cheek here. I'm going to create his nose. Level out these brows. Then I'm using a half inch necking tool to smooth up that area. Now we're going to create the ears. It's a three-step process. Start with a, approximately a quarter inch bob punch. And a pointed punch. and an eighth inch fuller. I'm 
going to use that same eighth inch fuller that I'm going to create an upper brow line and eyebrows. using it to help define the lower brow line in the sides of the muzzle. Placing it at the crown. Then I'm going to use that same chisel to separate the ears from the horn. I'm going to use the same chisel to texture his beard. I'm using a hot rasp. To dress the horns a little bit. Right now I'm using approximately a quarter, five sixteenths inch bob punch to open up some eye sockets. Those eyes should be at the widest point of the head. I've got a hammer I use to texture with. It's got a lazy S on it. It's a straight peen and a cross peen.
Now I'm going to put in the eyes. I'm using approximately a 3 16 inch eye punch, round. I'm not driving it straight in. I'm driving it slightly up and in. Turn that tool and rock it around. Be careful not to drive it too deep. Make sure it fills the punch. And then I've got a my curved chisel. I'm going to cut the mouth, placing it right against the beard. And I'm using the pointed punch for the nostrils. I want to get them nice and close to the corner so I get some good flare on those. I'm going to come back in with the eighth inch fuller. I'm going to push the brows down just a little bit. Bring that line just onto the muzzle slightly. There we have our bison.